I did a planner video where I showed you how I set up my planner for the week, but now I want to show you how I actually do the work. It's zone two, and we're going to be taking care of that right now. If you missed the video where I showed you how I actually set the planner up for this week, check out the iBox right here. People often say, Miss Denise, your kitchen is so clean. And most of the time it is. But just like everybody else's home, every now and then Miss Denise gets things at sixes and sevens. But I stay on top of things by doing my daily maintenance. Washing my dishes, cleaning up the kitchen, sweeping and mopping the floor, those daily things that just keep the kitchen under control. And then I do my zone work. And this week I'm working in zone two. And in my planner, I had selected to clean the corners of the kitchen floors. So and you know when you mop the floors, how like maybe underneath the counter or something like that, back in the corner, you can't get in there real good unless you get on your hands and knees and scrub. So I picked that to do this week. Junk drawer number two, that's this drawer over here. And no one has cleaned that drawer out in the 20 odd years we've been living here but me. And it's time for me to do it again. The oven drawer, which is the drawer um, where I keep my pots and pans, and actually the lids more so than any pots and pans. But for some reason, there's always a few little crumbs and things that get down in there. And then clean the stainless steel in the kitchen, which is the refrigerator and the stove. Those are the four things that I picked to do this week. So let's get that started. How this stuff falls down through the oven door, I don't know. But you can see it is definitely time to get that cleaned out. So I vacuumed the drawer out with my Dyson stick vacuum to get all the different little crumbs and particles and things like that. Now I'm going to spray it with this four months multi-purpose cleaner. Something I learned from Melissa Maker, which is let the product do the work. I'm going to let it sit for a couple of minutes so it can soften up any of those little stains and spills that are in there. And then I can wipe them out or scrub them out with my Viva Signature Cloth paper towels. I like these particular paper towels because they're just like working with cloth. But the good thing about that is I can pitch them once we're done. So while that product is doing its thing, now is a good time to say that this video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. Now that that's set for a few minutes, I can get this scrubbed out. And I'm using a Scott Green Pad for the scrubbing. I just love the way the Scott Green Pads work. How I get crumbs in here, I will never know. The Green Pads are actually a lot bigger than this. They're actually about this size, but I will usually cut them into thirds because I don't need a whole pack at once. Let me get that cleaned off. I might as well clean that up while I got this open. The stainless steel is tomorrow's task, but I can't see closing this up. Task one, oven drawer, done. I started this task at 5.35 and it's 5.50 and I'm all done. And that included taking the time to wash off the lid and to do my message from our sponsor. Next, I'm going to clean the stainless steel on my oven and on my refrigerator. And I'm going to use this real simple clean that I picked up from the Grove Collaborative. I'll put some links to this product in the description box below just in case you're interested in taking a look. And whenever I spray it, some always ends up up here on the cabinets. 
So please don't say you sprayed your cabinets. I know that, so I'm always getting up here. So the first thing I always do is wipe the cabinets off, and then I start to wipe down the hood. It gets dusty and greasy, and it always drips on my cooktop. So once I'm done with this, I'll have to clean the cooktop. And this little kitchen stepper is invaluable. I will link it in the description box just in case you're interested. I used to have another one and my husband didn't think it was sturdy enough. So he bought this one for me instead. This time I sprayed it on the paper towel rather than on the oven top. That way I didn't get it all over the wall. This bottom drawer gets splattered sometimes when my husband's mopping the floor. When he uses that mop that you have to wring out, he splashes water everywhere. But when I use my old cedar and my clipper, I don't have that problem. Now, since I'm down here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the oven door, or shall I say the glass. And I'm just using a seventh generation glass cleaner. I'll just lick all the products I'm using and the DB, just in case you want to take a peek. Okay, now this is done. Go to move over and get the fridge. That was hard getting that magnet off. It came off the back of that plaque. This handle's a little bit sticky, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good cleaning. It's one of the things that I do every Wednesday when I clean the fridge to prepare for my groceries. But apparently I didn't get it done this week because it's pretty sticky, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And something else that I see that needs a little bit of attention is the little tray that goes in here with my water dispenser. So I'm just gonna scrub that up real quick. And I know this little tray was not on the task list for today, but it was such a little thing and it was pretty glaring once I got a good look at it. And I knew it would only take me a second just to get it washed up. So now that it's done, I can pop that back in and the refrigerator is nice and clean. So here's the refrigerator, nice and clean. I'll get my pictures and my little magnets back on it. Stainless steel, task two done. Now whereas I will typically only do one of my 15 minute zone cleaning tasks per day, since I knew that cleaning out that bottom drawer of the oven wouldn't take very long, I decided to go ahead and get the oven drawer done and the stainless steel done today. So I've got two of my zone cleaning units ticked off for the week. I'll see you tomorrow for another day of zone two cleaning. So today's task is to clean the corners of the kitchen floor. And another spot that I discovered when I pulled out the drawer to the oven, I thought, ooh, nasty. So I need to do some work there as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is let the product do its work. I'm gonna give all the various areas a good spray down while I'm collecting my scraper and my paper towel. Much cleaner, much nicer. This is definitely taking 
some elbow grease even though I have sprayed it down and let it sit and whereas this floor gets cleaned often these corners not so much so much better there all right that corner is done this corner is done this is more than an ocean Well, I am done cleaning the corners of the floor. They are all nice and clean. And I tell you what, that was more than an ocean. And you will notice that I did not wear one of my skirts or dresses while I was doing that particular task. I put on something a bit more utilitarian because I knew that that was gonna involve quite a bit of crawling around. So I'm done for today. I'll see you tomorrow for task. This junk drawer is one that I have really been putting off for quite a while. I absolutely positively hate to clean it. And here's the thing, in the 20 years that we've been living here, I am the only one to clean out this drawer. When we still had children here and me and the hubby, no one but me has ever cleaned out this drawer. And I think I get a little annoyed at it and that's why I let it go so long because nobody else seems to care. So today I'm taking care of this task for me. And I'm gonna just dump everything out. That's the only way I can handle it at this point. I'm not gonna search for trash first. Sorry Dana K. White, but everything's coming out. I'll wipe it out with a little microfiber cloth. The biggest thing is that it was just so dusty. This is a sheet that has numbers on it for let's say your china's outdated and you need to try to find a piece or two. This list has a whole list of phone numbers of places that do that. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to set it there for a second. A phone book. Who's seen one of those in a while? This is a 2013, 2014 phone book. This will be going in the trash. Let me just bring the trash can over here. So, trash. So I'm going to start out putting like to like. I'm going to collect all the pens and pencils. Put them in this cup for now just so I see where they are and what we've got. Because I'm sure I won't need everything that's in here. Nobody here wears these. My granddaughters are not here right now. And when they come back to visit, they'll bring their own. We've had this magnet in this drawer forever. I don't even know why it's still in here. Why am I still keeping it? I'm not sure, but every now and then, my husband does use a magnet to pick up something. So. Look at this sweet little picture. What it's doing in this drawer, I don't know, but this is my youngest son sitting in a tree at my sister's home where she used to live. Oh, he's adorable. Oh, one of those whistles um, that you use. Trash, I don't even think about it. Well, I finally got this drawer all cleaned out. You're not going to believe the way it looks. Now, it's not picture perfect, it's not Pinterest perfect, but it's going to work for me. I've got things organized. I can find a pen. And that was one of the things that was driving me absolutely nuts. I'd reach over here, look in the drawer for a pen, and couldn't find one. When I got everything cleaned out, there were about 30 pins in the drawer. I just couldn't locate it. So now I've got a few that are in here in the drawer, some markers, 
paper clips, sticky notes, staplers, tape, Rolodex, just things that I need in the kitchen from time to time and that I can reach in here now and I can pick one up and not be scrambling all over the place. So I'm really glad about that. And I will say this took more than 15 minutes. It probably took me more like 45 because from time to time I had to look at some of the things that were in there. Kind of went down a rabbit hole looking at different little things. And then finally I just swept everything off into the trash can. And it's pretty full. For more homemaking inspiration, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below for more of my homemaking stories. And I will see you next time. And don't forget to visit us at www.aprendiva.com.